Hello friends, welcome to Dainty Gift School of Decor and Decoupage and welcome to Summer Night YouTube Hop. We once again have a lovely collaboration of amazing artists joining together to bring you some ideas and inspiration for your own project. Of course, there are some amazing prizes to be won and you will find the rules and your next YouTube Hop stop in the description down below. This is the project I made for this hop because summer night means magic and mystery and what could be more magical than Alice in Wonderland. I start with this notebook that I purchased at my local shop. First I lightly sand it to make the surface a little bit grittier. Then apply two coats of white acrylic paint to the covers. You can use chalk paint or gesso instead. I also made a little protective cover out of baking paper to help keep pages clean. Once primed, I move on to decoupage and moulds. I used this Alice in Wonderland print from Digital Collage Club Library. I printed it onto photo paper using my standard inkjet printer to print it out. To make the decoupage process easier, I wet the paper with water, let it soak for a couple of minutes, then dab off the excess water. I apply a coat of Mod Podge, put my decoupage picture on, then apply another coat of Mod Podge over it. Next, I make a clock mold out of this beautiful redesign with Prima mold called Elysian Clockworks, if I'm not mistaken. I used air drying clay and trade grade PVA glue to make and apply the molds. While waiting for the mold to dry, I mix up a sage green colour using acrylic paints. I pencil in a line for where I want my checkered pattern to stop and start painting on my squares. I freehanded it, but feel free to mark them out with a ruler if you wanted your design to be a little bit straighter than mine. I applied two coats of paint on both sides of the cover. Next I mix in yellow, brown and black into half of our green paint and fill in the other half of the checkered design.
This is where you will need to be a bit more precise. And I also apply two coats of this paint over each check. Once finished with checkered design, I add emerald green and black into the mix to make a really dark green colour for the top part of the notebook. I go ahead and paint the top half of both sides of the covers. Once the top is dry, I take two shades of blue and white and put little bits of those paints onto the palette. This time I don't mix them together. I instead take a piece of sponge and dip it into each paint separately, then dab off the excess and start dabbing it over the top of the green. This created a nice cloudy effect. To darken up and desaturate the brightness of the blue and white paint, I occasionally pick up a bit of dark green into the mix. I then also start fading out the edge between painted and checkered parts using a downwards motion and a pretty dry sponge. It created a foggy look that I felt made it look a bit more mystical. repeat this on the back cover too. Next, to add some stars into our fog, I used first gold metallic paint, then white acrylic paint to add some paint splatters. To do that, I take a dry natural bristle brush, pick up a little bit of paint onto the brush, then using the bamboo stick, I flick some paint onto the covers. Then I take this large script stencil, gold wax and stencil brush and add some script over the background. Next I sort out the clock. I painted it using black acrylic gesso and once dry applied first gold, then pink and blue metallic waxes by Finaba. To mask the edges of the decoupage picture, I used gold window lead strip. This is a self-adhesive metal strip that is used to put in diamond patterns on windows.
I cut four strips, one for each side, then chop the corners to size. I really need to invest in a good Stanley knife, it would have made the process a lot easier and more precise. As I already said, these are self-adhering strips, so once I've cut them to size, I simply remove the backing and stick them in place. To age the notebook, I once again used Liberon Special Effect Wax in black. I pick up a little bit with a cloth wrapped around my finger, then apply it to all edges. To get into the spot around the lead strips and the mould, I used a brush and wiped thin smudged the excess with a cloth. Finally, to seal it all, I used Annie Sloan Clear Wax. And there we go, we have reached the end of the project. My question for you today is, what does summer night mean to you? What do you associate with summer nights? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, follow all of the rules of the hop and let us know where you are from in the comments as well if you would like to be entered into the prize draw. Dainty Gifts, also known as me, is also acting as a sponsor this time for this hop, so make sure that you enter the hop to be in for a chance to win a prize from me as well. As always, links for everything are in the description down below. There are some discount codes for the brands that I'm affiliated with, so make sure to use them. Lots of love from my house to yours, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!